this bill is intended to help save county fairs across California and across the country. Um, county fairs are really integral to our communities and to our local economies. They are as American as apple pie, uh, and yet they're in real trouble. Uh, right now, uh, county fairs, you know, the, uh, almost 100% of their revenue comes from just a few weeks a year during the summer. Uh, almost all of them uh, are closed across the country for coronavirus. And if we don't do something, that closure isn't just going to be for one year, it's going to be permanent. And, and, so, uh, and so my bill would essentially create a $5 billion emergency fund that will support county fairs and ensure that county fairs across the country can reopen next year. County fairs are really important to rural areas across the country, uh, especially uh, for, for me personally. Uh, when I grew up, I entered a lot of entries into the Stanislaus County Fair. I still have the Blue Ribbon Award that I got for photography when I was 12 years old. Uh, it's still the only artistic achievement I, I've ever had. Uh, my mom's chocolate chip cookies got the Blue Ribbon Award every single year. Uh, but even beyond the, the, the recognition for so many young people, uh, this is critical for our local economies. This is how so many kids in 4-H get leadership and ag skills. Uh, there are 30,000 jobs statewide that depend on county fairs, and it generates every year $3.5 billion of annual economic impact. Uh, and so these fairs are critical not just for education, but also for our local economies. And when we lose them uh, for one year, that's something that we can understand. I mean, there's a lot of businesses that are clustered, but these are nonprofits that are going to see a huge challenge. And if we don't do something, they may not open up next year. Yeah, well, this came through conversations with fair officials across the country. Um, we don't we want to make sure that we have enough money on hand. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give this support to directly to USDA, which is going to work with states to distribute that money to county fairs across the country. Um, if we need less, that's great. That money can go back to the federal treasury. If we need more, we can kind of go from there. But our understanding is this amount of money is going to be enough to make sure that every fair in America can conditions willing and hopefully uh, health conditions uh, uh, continuing that we'll be in a situation to open in 2021. So I think it's very economically responsible because fares pay for themselves. Um, like I said, just in California, they generate three and a half billion dollars every single year. Um, and in a world where there are no county fares anywhere in America ever again, that is going to have a huge toll. And that economic impact is going to be concentrated in rural communities like the one that I represent in the Central Valley. And so, you know, these are a really critical engines of local, of local growth and generally they're economically sustainable. Last year, we saw across California and at our, our state fair, uh, attendance was going up. Uh, more and more people are actually wanting to go to fairs in, in a good year when, when, when the health conditions uh, are, are, are allowing. Uh, and so we know that this is going to be money that's going to be put to good use and that over time we're going to make sure uh, that once fairs are, are, are resilient and, and, and back at work, that's money that's just going to flow directly to the local communities that benefit. Fairs are one of the uh, last pieces of connective tissue between the agricultural community that produces so much of our food uh, and then the broader public. So many Americans across the country think that food comes from a supermarket. And fairs are one of the opportunities to bridge that divide. Um, and that's a, a really critical thing in a community like mine where one out of three jobs comes from agriculture. There are so many 4-H kids where they spend their entire year raising livestock, uh, looking to auction it off, and this is their one opportunity uh, to do that. And many of those kids will actually never work in agriculture. They'll go do something else with their life. But the fair is their one opportunity to spend a year walking in the shoes of a farmer. And that is a really important opportunity, not just for our farming community, but also for everybody else. And if we lose that, uh, we lose the education value of that experience. We lose the 
economic impact, uh, the three and a half billion dollars a year that these far that these uh, fares generate, but we also lose something much bigger. Uh, we lose that connective tissue that brings a community together to really celebrate all the local achievements that is especially powerful in, in rural America. And I worry that if we don't do this bill, if we don't get this done and we lose fares forever, uh, that's going to irrevocably damage uh, our communities. And I, and I think that's something that you can't put a price on. I, I think the best thing to think about is think about uh, a 16 year old kid who has spent the last year of their life uh, raising a pig. Uh, this was going to be their one moment where they had a chance to auction that they got. They can't do it this year, but we need to make sure that that education and that economic impact lives on. Uh, and we don't want to have any of these fairs permanently closed. And that's why this bill is, is so important.